Well, uh, hello, Aiden. It's good to see you today. Good to see you too. All right. I'm glad that we have a chance to get together and talk a little bit about you and who you are to introduce you to our YouTube vlog viewers. So Thank you. yeah, tell me a little bit about yourself, Aiden. So, so basically I like to watch TV a lot and I like to play my video games a lot. I don't like to sleep. I thought kids were supposed to like to sleep. Well, I just don't want to go to bed sometimes. Oh. A lot of times I just feel like I don't want to go to bed. Okay. So what, what would you prefer to be doing if you're not in bed? Just staying up and watching TV. <laughs> What's your favorite show to watch? It's like a show that's called Supermarket Sweep. I watch it with my mom and my dad. Aiden, now did you know that I enjoy watching that show too? No, never. So what grade are you in, Aiden? Third. What do you like most about third grade? Once you get to like more grades, bigger, bigger grades for older kids, you start to do more fun stuff. Like what? What are you talking about? So like you get to work, you get to um, like do your work on the computers. Oh. You can come up to the smart board so like and show like what you did to solve like a math problem in your math book. A lot of people find math challenging, but math is such an important subject to do well in. I know it's a little it's it was it is challenging for me still. But I'm already in division. Like you're already in division, and you're just in third grade. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Now, you said you enjoy PE. What do you like about PE? So, we play a whole bunch of games. We go to the to a soccer field. So, like, so one of the games we played is called Ultimate Frisbee. So, the rules are you can't, so you cannot push people. Only when the Frisbee is thrown, you can move. Is that a hard rule to follow? Nope. Not that hard for me. Well, I think it's cool that you love math and PE. That's good. Now, you know, I work at a place called Our Kids Read, and we're all about kids your age doing a lot of reading. Do you like to read? To be honest, yes. Really? What is it about reading that you enjoy? So, like, I just, like, enjoy, like, having some time reading. Like, I mean, like, I just enjoy reading, like, I don't like really like know what to say, but I just really, really enjoy reading. That is super fantastic. Now, do you have any favorite books? Yeah, I do. I bet you um, want to show them to me, don't you? What you got? I am. I love this book that you got me. I absolutely love it. Which one is that? It's the one that's called Don't Feed the Geckos. Oh, why do you like I it? just really like it. It's just a really good book. Oh. I, I'm not even finished with it either. either either. Now, did you know what a gecko was before you started reading that book? Yes. Do you have any other books there that you want to show me? We saw Don't Feed the Geckos. Okay. This is a pretty good book, too. All right. The Unstoppable me... Garrett Morgan. Yes. Okay. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good book. I, um, so, I read some of it, but mom made my mom read most of it, so like, she read a page, I read a page, then she read um, just a little bit more pages. I read like a little bit, a little bit of pages. Do you like to read with your mom? Yes, All right. I do. Um, at Our Kids Read, we talk about a lot of time the importance of parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles reading with kids. So I'm glad to hear that your mom is reading uh, the Garrett Morgan book with you. And let me tell you a secret. I bet Garrett Morgan liked math like you do because of the work that Garrett Morgan did in science. What do you think? I do think, I think that too. Okay. To be honest, I do as well. Wonderful. Well, Aiden, I am so glad that I had the opportunity to introduce you to our Our Kids Read audience. I know that they're going to be excited to see your vlogs on our YouTube page about what you're reading. Thank you. Okay, Aiden.
I am so excited that I get to share with you on this very snowy day in Arkansas. The title is The Snowy Day, and it's by Ezra Jack Keats. And so I'm going to read part of this, and we're just going to talk a little bit about this book, okay? Okay. All right. So, The Snowy Day. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. Aiden, did you have the same experience as Peter this morning? I did. What did you think when you looked outside the window this morning? That the, that the streets would be covered up in snow and there would be like a couple inches of snow where I was at, where my house was. Okay. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a patch, a path for walking. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks and he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow covered tree. Now, down fell the snow plop on the top of Peter's head. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough, not yet. So he made a smiling snowman and he made angels. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. Now we're gonna stop there. Tell me, what do you think happened with Peter's snowballs that he put in his pocket? He said he was gonna hold on to them in his pocket in the house till tomorrow. What do you think might've happened? I think it might've melted in his pocket because he said he's going inside his warm house. And snow yeah. needs to be cold in order to be snow. That is very smart. I agree with you. I bet that's it. And so I'm going to encourage everyone to check out The Snowy Day by Ezra Keats and see what ended up happening with the snow in Peter's pocket. Aiden, thanks so much for talking with me about The Snowy Day. And I hope that you will enjoy having fun in the snow this week because it looks like it's staying around all week here in Arkansas.